Hello again fellow Minecraftians, Lost here again with another tutorial, this time for the aqueous or aqueous accumulator, depending on your place of birth, um, from the thermal expansion mod included in the new Tekkit mod pack. Now the aqueous accumulator, as seen here, um, requires no power, it's entirely self-contained, and its sole purpose is to produce water from air, or from nothing, technically. Uh, so here we go, this is a GUI. Um, over here on the right it's fully configurable, configurable, so you can set it up to output from any side you like. It's currently set to output from any side except the face, because none of the thermal expansion machines will uh, output from the face side. Um, if I hover over here you can see it holds 17 millibuckets. Now it's filling up very, very slowly. Now, though this might suit some of you, personally I think it's absolutely useless uh, like this, but it can be sped up dramatically if you pop it down and give it a water source block on two sides. It doesn't matter, it could be either side, that one and that one. I think we'll set it up like this here, and if you put a source block in there, you will see that it fills up much more rapidly. You see that? Very, very quickly. Now this is plenty of water and although they don't have certain things in this mod pack like uh, the Railcraft steam boilers and things, the aqueous accumulator will happily keep those topped up with water. You could use this to keep your combustion engines running. I believe one will definitely keep one combustion engine filled with water at all times, possibly two or three. I don't know, I haven't actually tried. I'm not uh, really used to using combustion engines, although I have started using them in my own uh, playthrough of uh, the new Tekkit. Um, but as an example, you can pump out from any side, uh, but as it's set, it's there, the top's open, so we'll use the top. It will automatically output, as you can see here, and it should fill up nice and quickly. You see how fast it's replacing the bucket so that it pumps out? Well, there we go. That's the aqueous accumulator. Very fast for producing water, so no need to make an, a, a, an infinite water source and then um, pump it out, etc. And have you know the chunks unload and your water source dry up, etc. Just have one of these, nice and simple. Now, if you've seen my tutorial on the igneous extruder, you would have seen this here producing infinite uh, cobble or stone in this case because the water is filling up faster than it can actually use it as you can see there. Now this is literally that set up there if I unbury it but you can see that it's very easy to hide so whenever you need infinite water this should be your go-to block. This is what you should be using. Well I hope that was helpful to some of you. Uh, have fun guys!